Like I go by the 10% rule. And it's funny that you say you, you won your, like your 11th or 12th contract. That's like a 10% rule, right? Until you get better, you want to go by that 10% rule. Like, so for every 10, you may win one, right? Um, and so with that said, 10% of, 10%, a million dollars is 10% of 10 million, which means that in order for you to hit that million dollar goal, and this is just a strategy that I, that I talk about, in order for you to hit that million dollar goal, you need I'm to- I'm taking my paper and my pen so I can write it down. Yeah, yeah. So, so in order for you to hit that million dollar goal, you need to have a million, you need to have 10 million in bids out. So now you say you, you're currently going after uh, a few others simultaneously. Mm -hmm. um, do you know the value, the, the dollar value of all those opportunities coming down your pipeline right now? I do not. So maybe you can direct me. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes I ask for the threshold. Sometimes they don't even answer. I'm like, okay, maybe that's a question I'm not supposed to. I don't know. They don't, don't answer some of yeah. us are, okay, well, it's this amount. So I'm like, well, where is that amount for me too? So yeah. I, don't know. I don't know how to navigate that. So, maybe so, as, far, so as far as you, um, you've already bid on those projects or you're looking to bid on those projects? I'm looking to bid on them because they oh, have okay. some site visit and all that stuff. So, and of course the site visit will be done by the vendor. Yeah. So. Well, it's not, it's nothing but uphill from here because you, now you have past performance with the government agency yes. um, and you can continue to duplicate that as well as continue to build a relationship with that particular department and let mm -hmm. them know that you could do this all the time. Right. And not only that, you can also piggyback off that particular contract and ask them, does any of the other departments in your oh. agency need this service as well? And if so, can you introduce me to whoever the the lead procurement officer or whatever so that's that's a that's a great tip uh, on there you. um you're welcome um but but when I think when I think about pipelines I think about um contractual value that I'm going to bid after so say like if you have a financial goal to hit a million dollars um in your pipeline you need to be looking at um because because it's like a 10 percent like I go by the 10 percent rule and it's funny that you say you you won your like your 11th or 12th contract that's like a 10 percent rule right until you get better you want to go by that 10 percent rule like so for every 10 you may win one right um and so with that said 10 percent of 10 a million dollars is 10 percent of 10 million which means that in order for you to hit that million dollar goal and this is just a strategy that I, that I talk about. In order for you to hit that million dollar goal, you need I'm to- I'm taking my paper and my pen so I can write it down. Yeah, yeah. So, so in order for you to hit that million dollar goal, you need to have a million, you need to have 10 million in bids out. Does that, does that make sense? Yeah. So if you have 10 million in bids out, it's a 10% chance that you're going to at least bring home a million dollars of that. Now mm -hmm. that's, now that it, it doesn't matter if it's like 50,000 over here, a quarter of a million over here, half a million, it doesn't matter. You just need to be strategic, right? On how you hit that million. Um, but anyways, knowing that when it comes to government contracting, um, there is no real limit to what you can do. And you just experienced your, you had your first experience Um what role does government contracting, is, is it going to play in like as far as you creating wealth for yourself and your family and being able to provide for, you know, your mom who's ill and, um, you know, your children and all those. What role do you think government contracting is going to play in that? I would say it's going to be, um, it's going to be on my top right now because <laughs> I'm seeing success in it. So I'm, I'm, I already have the motivation, so I'm going to keep going. 
um, but it's it's top priority right now. Hey, thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you're enjoying it. I wanted to take some time to invite you to join me in the GovCon Challenge. The GovCon Challenge takes place once a month where I invite a bunch of entrepreneurs and aspiring entrepreneurs to come and have me teach you the five things you must do to pre-qualify your business to land lucrative contracts with the government. So join me in the GovCon Challenge. Click on the link in the description. You'll be glad you did. Join as VIP for exclusive behind the scenes information and you could become a part of the top 1% of entrepreneurs across the nation. Now back to the video you were watching. So if you were, if you were to rewind back time, back to when you first got started with contracting, what would you have done differently? Do it as soon as possible. Uh, once you learn something, go ahead and put it, put it in the work. Um, I think um, when I started, you, you just scared to talk. I think I was scared to talk to contractors, officers, um, putting bids out there. You don't really know what to do, but the more you do it, the more you learn from your mistake. That's that's what I'm doing. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh, and I think... I I think I think that you're like it's not a unique situation. I think a, a lot of people that are first getting started are like, well, what do I do? And they believe that they have to have a hundred percent of everything. Like they have to know hundred percent of what to do, and they have to have a hundred percent of all the experience before they can actually be successful and move forward. But it's like you just basically said, no, you can do it and fail forward, right? You could do it and make mistakes as long as you're willing to learn from your mistakes. And yeah. I think like. Um, so one of the success principles that, you know, that I talk about a lot is becoming the person, like becoming the person that will actually take action, because until you're willing to actually take action, you could never get the result. And exactly. you experienced that, you know, firsthand, like when you, you know, you took some action, but you weren't all in yet. And it looks like that life situation, you know, with your mom being ill and then you just being like in this complacent place where it's like, I don't have nothing else to do, right? Sometimes your back has to be up against the wall before you realize yeah. yes. the blessings <laughs> that's right there, right? So what would you say was like the biggest lesson learned uh, for you? Um, communication is key. And, and don't procrastinate, just do it, period. So anybody that's uh, that's new to, new to this concept, what would you say to them? Um, like what 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 would be your best advice aside from communication being key, following up, and just taking action? What would you what would you say to a person that's just like, can this really work for me? It does work. It does work. It it it's gonna take some work. It's gonna take some work, um, but it does work. But just do it, just do it. That's my my only thing. Don't don't get scared. I know you you don't you're gonna get scared, but just do it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Maria, um, for sharing your story, your journey. Um, definitely this is just the first of many to come, and they are going to get larger. So really, what you just done was reignite the multiple millions that's going to flow through your life, your family, your family's life, everything that's that's here, like you have the opportunity to literally change the trajectory of your future generation. And so I'm really proud of you. I'm happy that you, you know, followed up and let follow through and let us know that you won your first contract. I couldn't imagine. I can imagine what it feels like because I know what it felt like when I won my first. And so definitely wish you all the best. Um, our team here, she's got goals. We sent you something. I don't know if you got it. Did you get a uh, gift? In I, I don't know what it is. It's email or no? Oh, so in the mail. So you oh, should not, so you, not as of yet. Not as yeah, of yeah. yet. So you're gonna so you're gonna receive a nice little <laughs> gift in the mail. Um, just to sell. We just want to celebrate your success with you. And um, thank you so much for sharing your your story. Oh, no problem. And I receive all that, all the stuff that you said. Send it. Send it this way. Blessing. Yes. That. That. Yes. Okay, well, if, if there's anything else that we can do to support you in the future, be uh, feel free to reach out. All right, right, will do. Thank you so okay. much. You're welcome. Right.